Blazing Angels was a competent entry in the World War II gaming genre, a genre that's getting seriously overexposed. So that might be the reason that Blazing Angels 2 is keeping the arcade-style aerial dogfighting from its predecessor, but dropping the seriousness of the last game's storyline for a more fantastical plot, featuring Black Ops and plenty of experimental planes. That looks like a kill, Captain. Yes, you're still in the midst of World War II, and you're still going to be shooting down an inordinate number of German planes, and you'll still be strafing plenty of artillery positions on the ground. But it's all done with more of a video game feel now, complete with characters you interact with. Not my idea to come this way, Captain, but we didn't have any other options. Understood, Marguerite. Good luck. And huge boss fights at the end of certain levels. Consider it a sort of ace combat, but set in the 1940s. Gameplay looks to be pretty much the same as the previous game, for the most part. You twist and turn through the air, trying to get a better angle from which to strafe or chase your quarry, avoiding such instant death scenarios as running into the ground and... Well, that's really the main thing to avoid. Blazing Angels 2 still features the lock-on button as well. Here, the camera will lock onto your currently selected target so that you can keep it in sight at all times. It's an invaluable tool during later missions where you won't have time to blindly search for that next target as multiple bogeys are breathing down your rudder. We're taking too much damage! Stop the bombers at all costs! But you're not alone out there. You play as the leader of a fictional Black Ops squad and as such, have to take care of your wingmen, though they tend to take care of themselves pretty well during most missions. Even so, you have a few rudimentary squad orders at your command, including full attack, formation, and so on. Give everything you've got! You asked for it, Captain! Ubisoft has worked hard to keep Blazing Angels far more interesting this time around, and to do so, it's fiddled with history a bit. You're an American pilot flying in the war before your country actually enters the war, and what's more, you'll eventually find yourself piloting jet fighters. It's not really the most realistic approach, but it's what will make Angels 2 stand out. Blazing Angels 2 is shaping up to be an interesting game, not because it brings more of the increasingly tired World War II drama we've seen so many times before, but because of all the creative ways it strays from the history of the Great War. Look for our full review in the coming weeks.